Hello, wonderful people. Hey, good to see you. Uh, yes, I just spent a couple minutes, uh, you know, and just worked on the uh, piece I'm working on. But today, uh, today I want to do something which is, uh, I don't know if, if in future I'm going to get, you know, gifts like that. Okay. So I'm going to open package. Uh, in a live stream but that's kind of a happy day for me and it's also on another hand it's not so happy I'll explain a little later uh, but now now I'm uh, I'm working on the you know that piece uh, that is the second piece uh, pretty much uh, for the project I'm uh, working on uh, almost done almost done you can watch uh, the previous video like a short one on YouTube I posted that also on Facebook and uh, I posted that uh, multiple platforms, Instagram and so on. Uh, so you can find that video, uh, Woodcarver Grabovetsky, okay, if you want to follow me on Instagram or Facebook, all right? Uh, but like I said, I'm still working on that piece and uh, I am um, I'm actually uh, recording it, okay? Uh, that's going to be available, that piece is going to be available for people, members of my school. Uh, let me say hello to you people who connected. I did not send any emails, by the way. I didn't um, uh, want to bug you. I didn't want to spam you. And I just uh, go ahead and schedule that in five minutes ago. And uh, I'm going to do the live stream. And for some of you who's actually waiting on my emails, uh, my apologies. So that is going to be a, a live stream. I think it's going to be good live stream because it's going to be uh, interesting to see <laughs> what I'm going to discover in a box. Okay, so I do have a box. I got, you know, the package and it's challenging for me. Uh, trust me, uh, really, really challenging uh, uh, to get the box with the tools. I know those are tools and not to open them. <laughs> okay, I had to wait a few days before I scheduled my uh, live stream and I'm going to open it today. Danilo, hello, hello, uh, wonderful people who's going to connect. Uh, please uh, accept my uh, uh, really appreciation that you're connecting all the time and you're just uh, jumping on my live streams. I know it's not always convenient for you. Uh, but let's do that, okay? I've got, uh, I've got uh, that package a few days ago. A few days ago, and uh, like I said, I did not open it. Uh, that package, why I said today is kind of happy day, and on another hand, it's not so happy day, because what is going on right now, in a post-Soviet Union countries, okay, Russia and Ukraine. Uh, please don't ask me about my opinion, about my position on the war, what is going on. Uh, I am uh, always for peace. Uh, you can Google me, you can Google my last name, Grabovetsky, and you'll see there's a page on Wikipedia uh, saying that I was actually in jail for my beliefs. Uh, I do believe in God and also for refusal to go to army. Okay, I really uh, against any conflicts. I don't like conflicts between husbands and wives. I don't like conflicts between children. I don't like conflicts uh, between neighbors. And especially I don't like any conflicts uh, between brothers and I don't like any uh, conflicts uh, like a wars and so on so I'm not uh, taking any uh, side because uh, it's hard for me it's impossible almost uh, 
all I can do is just to pray for peace. I can do a fast for peace. And I know there is a God Almighty who can actually bring peace uh, in those countries, okay? Uh, that is a sad for me because uh, those tools took me a long time uh, to get the right manufacturer, actually not even manufacturer, it's actually a really small company, they doing everything by hand, uh, just one gouge uh, takes the whole day sometimes to just produce. But now, because of the sanctions and the, all the restrictions, uh, we have to probably, most likely, uh, pause or just to find some other ways uh, to get those tools here. So now they can't send any tools by mail or they can't accept any payments from me to get those tools uh, made, okay? so But uh, anyway, let me open up uh, uh, that box. But I want to say hello first, okay? I'm going to say hello first. Uh, to people who are uh, connected, okay? Let me see who's connected. Julie, <sighs> blessings to you too. Good morning, good morning. Uh, Danilo, good morning. Keith, good morning. Uh, David, good morning. And uh, like like I said, uh, I'm not, uh, please uh, don't ask me. I, I, I've got uh, emails and I've got uh, messages on Facebook. Uh, people saying, hey, how come you did not uh, say anything bad about what's happening in Ukraine? I'm not. Okay, I'm not going to uh, say anything because uh, I know people from both sides. You have to understand, one of my grandfathers was born in Russia and another grandfather was born in Western Ukraine. And uh, uh, for me, uh, it's like I said, I'm not taking any sides. I just pray for peace, for full shalom, nothing broken and nothing missing, okay? And I hope it's going to stop really soon, and uh, well, I hope it's going to uh, stop today. I mean, I don't know, but that's what my hope is, okay? Okay, so let me see. Uh, Kevin saying it's a, <laughs> a big blow for you and my tools. Uh, yeah, uh, I don't know yet, okay? So we're still trying to uh, find the ways. Uh, a lot of people, they're going to struggle. Uh, they're going to struggle just because what is going on, unfortunately. Even people uh, who have absolutely nothing to do with that, uh, with the uh, war and so on, I mean, like, like you know, those guys uh, who uh, sent me tools but let me uh, anyway uh, let me uh, open those tools and uh, let me just uh, enjoy the moment okay although it's a uh, really really sad uh, uh, what is happening and it was said for me also eight years ago when it started uh, on other parts of ukraine uh, it's always bad i mean all the conflicts i mean like i said i'm for peace but let me enjoy let me get uh, to the right mood, which is almost impossible because we do have some people we really know uh, who live there and they uh, in shelters. Uh, they are in the basements hiding and uh, have no source of food or water. Uh, both sides, by the way, not only in Ukraine, but also some uh, parts, uh, uh, they call them separatists like uh, Donetsk and so on. Both sides are struggling. Okay, let me open it. Uh, thank you very much, uh, by the way, uh, uh, for people who actually just uh, just uh, uh, support, you know, my opinion not to be involved on any of those sides because you never know, okay? I'm not in politics, okay? You never know. Okay, uh, let me enjoy, okay? Here you go. That is my package. That is my package. Let me get the knife and um, let me open it. That's uh, uh, that's the moment. Maybe, like I said, that is the last package. I hope not. I hope not. But who knows? Well, it is what it is. What can you do, okay? 
sometimes stuff happens which is not under our control, I would say. What can you say? All right. Take your breath. Hold it. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just place that uh, box right besides and I'm gonna pull one by one. Of course, a bunch of <laughs> stuff I need to show. But let me see what I've got. Okay, I've got a um, couple tools. Uh, let me explain what those uh, uh, tools are. Okay, uh, those tools. Uh, made by uh, Petrograd, uh, they made for me specifically, uh, but uh, uh, those couple tools uh, I was expecting, uh, they are based on specific tool which was produced, which was made in the beginning of 18th century. Uh, it was used a lot by uh, people like uh, Grillen Gibbons, uh, especially when you want to get inside of the flowers and so on. It was just uh, made for those uh, purposes, for really, really tiny spots, okay? And in fact, uh, those tools, uh, I, I did not open yet. It's still uh, right there. We developed that, but I, I hope I'm going to find what I was expecting. But uh, uh, those tools, uh, I, I know for a fact they were discontinued in uh, 19th century. Uh, so... Uh, the last time they produced tools like that, that was 19th century. In the 20th century, nobody would do that, okay? Uh, nothing special, it's still gouge, but let me open it. Let me open it and uh, I'll uh, check what is going on. Here you go. You know what, let me get rid of uh, that stuff. I want to make sure you see what I'm doing. Are you ready? You know what? Let me get that music completely off oh yes that is what I was expecting that is what I was expecting uh, that's exactly exactly what I asked to do okay let me explain uh, what I mean by that okay uh, when you're working uh, let's say on a uh, uh, tiny details uh, let's say if you've got like a flower inside right here, okay? And uh, you need to do a cut right on inside. And uh, see how small uh, that hook is, that spoon is? If I'm going to compare that uh, to the normal one, and uh, let me get uh, just the normal one. Let's say uh, this one, uh, that one is... Uh, by Ashley Isles, and that's a spoon gouge. And if I'm gonna place it, get it like this, place, see how small that tiny hook is? It's a really, really, really small. If I'm gonna do, uh, let's say, like a Swiss made, it's a little shorter, it's a short band, but this is a Swiss made normal, normal, normal. Um, uh, size spoon gouge in this case it's not the gouge but the vayner uh, but see the hook size i mean the the spoon size versus uh, that tool and that is uh, one millimeter okay so that is number nine and one millimeter it's absolutely gorgeous really really nice let me try to actually you know 
Carf. Make a couple cuts just to see if it's out of the box really nice. And yes, I can prove it. It's perfect. Wonderful. Uh, thank you, guys. Uh, those people who made that for me, Sergey, Alexander, uh, they took care of, uh, uh, you know, of uh, developing the tool and just to really put the effort. Okay, people from Saint Petersburg, uh, people from uh, Petrograd, I uh, really do appreciate you, Sergey and Alexander Panov. Okay, okay, let me get the second one. Here you go. That is the second one. Oh, yes. That's the second one. And this one, this one is uh, uh, the same idea, exactly the same idea, same small hook, really small, tiny hook. You can see how tiny that is, okay? And uh, let me show that again, why do you need tools like that? Unfortunately, you can't find that uh, anywhere. So that is a uh, really, really, really unfortunate. Uh, so reason, why they don't make them because not too many carvers who carve uh, those flowers uh, uh, since uh, Green Gibbons are uh, there's a few guys actually who carved after him but not as many but uh, let's say you've got uh, something like that okay and again you have to get in a tiny 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 spots but uh, with the big hook it's just a too big and uh, with this you can well I don't have to break it I just broke that in the live stream because it's a paper thin <laughs> that happens sometimes but anyway just uh, in a tiny spots like that uh, so that tool is just absolutely awesome or just to get on inside and get the really 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 shortcuts right on inside what can i say it's really beautiful really 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 beautiful okay take a look again and uh, maybe i can just uh show that from the side somewhere right there take a look see how short that is gorgeous what can i say i love it i love it all right uh, let me get uh, more stuff uh, those are uh, the two main tools i was waiting the longest uh, if you think they are simple to make you're wrong absolutely wrong uh, those tools actually really 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 hard to make uh, that small hook and still maintain uh, uh, the sweep really hard uh, but let me get uh, some other stuff so which uh, i don't think uh, they just gave me as a gift Oh, you know what? Here you go. That's the also other thing. The mallet <laughs> uh, uh, with the protection. So, I mean, which is also was possible for me to provide uh, for wood carvers uh, here or even anywhere in the world. Uh, that mallet is also could be uh, my brand. But we'll see. Like I said, we're still uh, trying to get that, you know, in motion. Who knows? Maybe it's going to happen yet. But this is the mullet. That is the mullet. Okay. With the really, really thick <laughs> uh, silicon protection thing. <laughs> but uh, it's going to uh, protect the tool. Uh, you know, I really like that idea. Uh, some of my mullets, uh, like uh, old ones, uh, they really like a 30 ounces pretty much uh, both of them 
but I love to use this one now, and I'm using that all the time. You can see it's just bang, but it's just so uh, good for not damaging the tools when you just hit that with the mallet. So you're protecting pretty much the edge of the tool. So that is why I like uh, uh, those type of mallets. Okay, let me get that mallet to my collection. At least it's going to be there. Here you go. I'm going to get some color, <laughs> you know, to my bench. Okay, let me see what else I've got. Uh, Christina is saying you are a mallet collector. Yes, I am. I love uh, mallets, uh, especially uh, when those mallets made just for me, like this one, uh, and they made by the master of wood turners. I, uh, I, I do wood turning myself, but uh, I do have uh, names uh, right on the bottom made by famous people, and I love it. I love it. You know, some really good wood turners. They made the, uh, you know, those uh, mallets, <laughs> beautiful, beautiful mallets. Got some uh, spalted one also, uh, like, you know, the real spalting. It's not uh, uh, like some people think uh, it's a uh, colored, but it's not, it's all natural. It's uh, a real spalting going on inside, okay? Some, like I said, some special ones. Like, you know, this one, I'm never going to use it, but it's beautiful. But let me get back, uh, you know, to opening what I'm opening. And yeah, I'm checking, um, uh, I'm checking, uh, you know, whatever, you know, you're writing. Oh yeah, uh, uh, Kevin is saying, um, uh, I'm so impressed at the precision and quality of those tools. The people making those tools are very beat. Uh, much of the craftsmen is Alexander, amazing craftsmanship. Yes, absolutely. Those people are really wonderful. Uh, like I said, just that you make one tool, it just uh, takes uh, the whole day uh, sometimes. Still depends on the tool, of course. I mean, not every tool, I guess takes the whole day but still it depends on the tool okay i've got the uh, new number 11 uh so number 11 and in this case it's a three millimeters but what i was after i'm not sure if i'm gonna get it closer to the camera i i really wanted to make sure that is a true v i'm not sure can you see can you catch that get that really close to the camera yeah and that's a true v and also important for me was uh like a little spread to the sides not like a true v uh like a true vayner but little spread to the sides and that they achieved that you know that result really good job guys okay really good job i'm really uh, I'm really happy with the result you've done. Okay, let me get another stuff what I've got. Not much. <laughs> I have some um, coffee casters. <laughs> but, uh, and something else. I've got something. Let's see. 
Oh, it's a checkering tools. All right. So those are checkering tools. I'm not sure if you know what that is, but it's actually for uh, gun carving, uh, for the guns, okay? Just whatever you want to carve on whatever the thing <laughs> on the side, whatever you call it. I'm not the uh, gun guy, uh, but sometimes I do have some clients, they asking me to do stuff like this, and some of the people in uh, uh, online school, members of my school, they writing email and asking if I can uh, give a course and about the gun carving or carving for the guns or whatever you can just use for the air for, for the bow and arrow arrow <laughs> not error uh, you know carving the same idea and uh, do I know how to do that yes absolutely so now again that could be uh, in the line of the tools I could provide but those are really 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 nice uh, checkering tools nicely done beautiful Hope you can see that really well. You know what? Uh, I can actually do a little uh, a zoom in, okay? Hold on just a second. Let me do that. You enjoy that view, and I'll zoom in. Just a second. Just a second. Here you go. So that would be zoom in view. Look at that. Precision of it. It's just beyond. Really love it. Okay, that's enough. And yeah, I've got the uh, the whole set pretty much the full set for the gun carving gun style carving can can i say that gun style i'm not sure if there's even a style there's a multiple styles in the gun carving and uh, yes i've got the uh, everything oh yeah oh yeah so right there all the angles uh, for the marking uh, and people uh, I'm pretty sure some of you are familiar with uh, gun carving so for the checkering and just to get that pattern on uh, certain areas like, uh, uh, you know, <laughs> whatever the greet and so on. Uh, and uh, that, that is the tool for that. Okay. So that is the uh, tool to make uh, measurements and so on, just to make sure uh, what a checkering tool you should use. Great job again. Really great job. I'm happy with that. I'm really happy with that. And I don't think I have uh, anything else, just that. Uh, let me check some questions and I'm going to tell you uh, what's going to happen and uh, try to answer them. Okay. Christina is saying it's wonderful. Are you still there, people? Okay. Say something for uh... okay. Uh, the question Where else can I get a tiny tool like that? Nowhere, that's the answer. You cannot get it anywhere. Period. I mean, nobody else makes them, so I'm talking about uh, those tiny tools. Uh, we would be the first ones who would do it N no longer. Okay, let me see. And Clarice is saying they are perfect for carving out uh, tight, hollowed out spots. Yes, that is exactly why we actually try to 
uh, to do that. Absolutely right. Absolutely right. Uh, Clarissa is asking about those uh, checkering tools. Uh, uh, those guys, can you do, uh, you know, just the background? Oh, absolutely, you can do that, uh, uh, use that on the background. It's not punching, uh, it's uh, cutting or scratching, I should say, because it's uh, working a little differently. Uh, although uh, you really probably going to see a, a better results uh, if you're going to use those tools on a harder wood, a little bit harder, not hardest, but harder, like uh, maybe on a walnut or cherry, a result going to be much better than uh, on a bass wood. But even on a bass wood, it's still going to be good. Let me try it, by the way, okay? Why don't we do that together? I'm going to get uh, like a small block and uh, we'll try it together. I've got some, you know, block. Let me get uh, some kind of wider one. But, you know, oh, hold on. Let me get this out. <laughs> the checker you have to just to get the, in um, the previous line. And I don't have to rush it. I want to make sure I'm just getting that in the line. Oh, I'm sorry, you didn't see that. My apologies. So that is uh, uh, one direction, you know, that way. Now uh, I can just uh, do that direction. And the result is not too good on the... Uh, on the best wood. See, it's just the smooshes it, so it's not good uh, for the best wood. Uh, it has to be a uh, harder wood. It's got to be a little harder wood, so like uh, cherry or walnut. On the walnut, it's actually perfect. Or just to get uh, a wider one. So I could get uh, probably the wider one. I've got a <laughs> little too tiny. You can get uh, and you know how it works, right? I mean, uh, you just get uh, uh, one side goes to the groove and then it just uh, goes, goes and goes. So uh, I could probably get better result, uh, like I said, with the harder wood. But the tools itself, perfect. Okay. Let me see. How many lines per inch checkering tools? Oh, that, uh, that's all depends. It's about the, the professional, uh, the professional uh, checkering tools, usually one line, okay? Uh, sometimes you can see some more lines, um, but uh, uh, I've got like right here, I can see there's the two lines, it's the most, but it's always better. Again, it's uh, just probably uh, my opinion, uh, it's always better just to have a uh, one line. One is has to be like a V groove. You just uh, uh, use that, you know, on, in the previous line, and then the second one you just uh, cutting that. Okay, why is that? Because uh, not every pattern is the same, and sometimes you really have to get really, really closer to the 
whatever you've got like a triangle and so on if you would have multiple lines it would be hard to get accurately you know to those uh, whatever the uh, edges you have to carve but again but we don't know if I'm going to get it or not no longer, I guess. I don't know yet. So we'll see. We'll see. I don't know. But let me see. Uh, Julie is saying those tools are really nice. Uh, Spartacus saying very interesting in future checkering videos. I have always wanted to learn about it. Glad I will be able to learn from you. Uh, you're the best. Thank you very much. And yes, I will do it. Uh, let uh, Maybe this year even. Um, uh, really low relief uh, gun carving with some silver inlay. Okay, so we can do some something fun uh, on uh, probably cherry or walnut. And I'll show you all the tricks. The old way inlays, okay? Like, you know, really nice and silver wire inlays so I, i'm planning to not now yet okay don't don't push me yet i still have to edit uh, uh lines okay let me see clarissa is saying she never you know saw <laughs> uh, those type of tools sergio good to see you hi hello okay uh let me tell you now uh some updates okay uh uh, updates about uh, in-person classes okay I do have um, uh, to tell you uh, I just came back from Texas but the next I'm gonna go in uh, Mark Adams School of Woodworking in Indianapolis Indiana let me show you that uh, a website okay I hope you can see that website okay let me show that to you here you go. Mark Adams. It's going to be uh, uh, just in a few weeks from now. I'm going to uh, uh, teach two classes right there. Uh, I don't know if there's any spots. I, I know the whole week was sold out, but uh, there uh, could be weekend spots. Okay, just to check. Or some people could not make it and uh, you have to get on list and they're going to call you. I don't know. Uh, so that is uh, one. After that, I'm going to be in Maine. Uh, last week, we did um, a live stream with the William Francis Brown, one of the best 18th century uh, furniture makers, 18th century style furniture makers. And uh, also, he carves uh, uh, Bellamy uh, eagles. So just to check that last week video. Uh, but he owns the school, Maine Coast Workshops. Uh, so... Uh, please contact with uh, with him. I don't know if there's some space available, but you really have to. If you wanna, if you wanna be together with me in a room and shake my hand, or if you're gonna let me hold your hand and work together on some project, we never we never do the same. I'm gonna be twice in his school. Uh, in Mark Adams, I'm gonna be multiple times. So after that, I also gonna be in Tampa. Uh, I yesterday. I've got text message uh, uh, from Tampa School of uh, Woodwork. Uh, so the class is filling really quickly. So just to act right now, if you want to get uh, in a class, it's going to be fall. Uh, that's going to be beautiful weather. Tampa is always gorgeous, always. It's, it's Florida. Hey, I love Florida, okay? So just check that out. And uh, we're already starting a schedule uh, for the next year. I mean, 2023, and uh, uh, the first class in the next year, it's probably going to be uh, in Texas again. We already got that, uh, you know, scheduled for the 2023 uh, in a Austin School of Furniture. Go ahead, and you can probably already get uh, on the list and just uh, get your spot. Uh, class was full, uh, sold out, so some people couldn't even get in the class. Okay, so now that's... Uh, aside uh, uh, also check uh, on my school i've got the new course i actually uploaded uh, new videos about this project okay it's the same project it's the same uh, uh, same venetian style 
room, but just one of the details. Uh, also, I did a short video, like a short, really, really short, like 17 seconds or so. Uh, so, and I've got all the, you know, everything just laid uh, right on the floor and, uh, you know, all those details. So it's a huge project, okay? So just go ahead and check that. And I, I think, I think uh, that's it for today. I got to jump back and work. I have to, uh, you know, concentrate on <laughs> finishing because uh, I had a meeting with the client just this week. So I've got short time to finish everything and ship it. Okay. All right. Wonderful people. Have a wonderful day. Don't forget, you always can follow me on Instagram or Facebook. Woodcarver Grabovetsky. Okay. Please do. I would really appreciate. Have a good one. Okay. Thank you very much.